guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to teach you how to curl your hair with a straightener. Now a lot of people I know struggle with like how to use their hand and flip their wrists. You know what I mean? <laughs> so they don't burn themselves and stuff like that. This is personally my favorite way to curl my hair. Um, this is how the finished product will look. But I will take you through it. I'll show you multiple times and explain it to you multiple times to try to get you to understand how I'm flipping my wrists and rearranging, you know, my hands, like swapping my hands. I use both hands, but it's it can get a little tricky. So in this video, I show you how to curl your hair with a straightener and all the products that I use to style it, how, how I style it personally. Um... So yeah, this is just like a quick little back to school, you know, special occasion at school. It's your birthday at school. It's Valentine's Day at school. Like it's the last day before Christmas break. You're having like all your Christmas parties. Um, you can get like a promposal and do this hair. If your friends spill the tea and say like, hey, you know, Jacob is going to promise to you today or tomorrow or whatever, like look good for your picture like you can do this hair style so if you want to learn how to curl your hair with a straightener just keep on watching okay guys so jumping straight in I hope you can see my hair I have really long hair so I know all my hair is not in the frame but you'll get a pretty good look at what I'm doing because I hold the way I hold everything is out here. So you'll be able to see what I'm doing. So the first thing I do is I take like a wide tooth comb so I don't like get like split ends or tangles and stuff and I'll just brush out the bottom portion of my hair. Just a little bit. And then I'll go up at an angle right here, like at my ears. And then once I have no more ear to follow up, I just turn my hands and I go back, if you can see. And this hair I have up here, I just put in like a messy bun just for the time being so I can work on the hair that I just separated out. And I do have my mirror right here and a mirror here. So if you see me turn this way, it's because I'm looking at my full body mirror and then my makeup mirror that's right here. Um, and also, it's good if I look this way so you can see a better angle of on my head. So I separated this bottom portion I just took out into two pieces. And then I'll just brush again a few times. My hair is really soft, really silky. I did wash my hair yesterday and it is, what time is it? It's about 4.34 so it's kind of late so I guess technically you can say this is second day hair. So I'm just using this Chi, it says Chi Air on it, it's this blue one. Um, it's really old, it's really dirty but I have it to the highest setting. And what I'm first going to do is I'm just going to straighten Starting from the roots, I'm going to straighten my hair. And my hair is naturally very curly, but I got it chemically relaxed so it could be more straight. And now I have kind of like the loose wave that you see here. So in order for me to curl it, I have to straighten it once at least to get it kind of straight so it won't be frizzy. And then I'll grab it from the roots and I'll turn... The straightener. Now, um, this is going to be very hard for you to understand, but I turned my wrist and I turned my hand at the same time. And as I go down, as I pull my hair through, I constantly turn the straightener. And then once all my hair goes through the straightener, I twirl it in my fingers, like how you saw in there, is a curl. So I'm going to do it again and try to explain. Try to explain to you how I turn it. So I grab the base of my roots. 
I straighten it once through really fast, just a quick little thing. I, I turn my wrist, you can see I'm turning the wrist that has the straightener in it and then I also turned and flipped the hand that had the hair in it around the straightener. And I continuously pull and turn the straightener as I go down the hair. Hopefully you can kind of understand and then there is the curl. Let's try this again. So at the base of my roots, I pull it through really fast just to straighten it once. And then I turn it. It doesn't matter what direction you turn it, but you see I turned my wrist that had the straightener in it. And I also turned the hand that had the hair in it the same direction. And then I just twirl it around my finger. So there we have some cute little curls. It doesn't matter what direction you do your straightener, you can you can turn your straightener this way and then grab it and turn it this way and pull through or you can turn the straightener back, grab it and then back again and keep pulling through. It doesn't matter which direction you pull it, you'll get the same kind of looking curl, they'll just go in different direction so like this one I go in a little bit of a different direction it just depends so I grab the base of my roots I pull the straightener through just to straighten my hair once really fast and then I do the base of my roots again and I'm turning my wrist that has a straightener and I flip my hair the hand that had the hair in it and then I grab the straightener and I turn it so I can grab it with my other hand and flip everything around. And then right here I'm just twirling the hot hair around itself to make the curl last longer and not come out as frizzy. So I separate it, throw that back, get the base of my roots and then pull it through to straighten it one time and then I'm twisting both wrists both wrists I twist then I grab with my hair hand reposition my straightening hand continue to turn as I pull down on my hair and then I let go and I twirl it around my finger while it's still hot so the curl comes out sleek and not frizzy and it will last longer now I'm going to do this again. Grab the base of my roots, pull the straightener through to straighten my hair once. Then I do the base again, turn both wrists, then grab the straightener, reposition my other hand, and then continue to pull through and twist my hand. See, and there we have pretty little curls. So what I do is I take one of these like bands that don't leave like an elastic mark or like bend in your hair and I pull my hair to the back and I do it in a low ponytail like at the center of my neck right here just like a little low ponytail at the center of my neck. This is probably like double chin central in this video. You can probably see all my double chin because I look down a lot to um, reposition my head. So the next way that I separate it is I go from right here the corners of my eyes. I'll just follow that back and with my nails or my fingers, I'll just go all the way around and pull the hair out. And then I'll take um, another hair tie and make another just like loose crazy bun just to get it out of my face and out of the way. Then I part it in the center again, and then I take my wide tooth comb and I brush it out a few times. So now hopefully this is higher on my head, you'll be able to see more of what I do. Now you can properly see what I mean by my hair is chemically relaxed. So the roots of my hair are more curly than the ends of my hair, if you can see that. And that's because this is fresh hair and this is old hair and I haven't gotten a relaxer since I want to say 
eighth grade might have been the last time I got in a relaxer and I'm gonna be a sophomore in college okay so as you can see I finished this side now I'm gonna continue on with this side so I just took a chunk that I thought would be enough hair not too much not too little I started the roots I smooth them down and then I pull my hair through to give it a one-time straighten and then I take it I pull it through the roots again and I flip both hands I reposition and I continue to pull through and then I twirl the hot curl around my finger and there you go I'll do the same thing straighten out the roots straighten out the hair really quickly grab the roots again turn both wrists pull through readjust and continue turning and pulling through at the same time and then twirl around my finger as it cools there we go two curls okay guys so I finished my hair off camera um, I kind of just part it whichever way this is hot right I'll fix it hold on um, whenever I'm finishing curling my hair I kind of just keep parting it up parting it in the in in half down the middle and then just you know curl it the way I was doing it with the straightener and then I just kind of mess with it later so this is all of the hair curled this is all of my hair curled I feel like when I curl my hair my highlights look really nice as you could see while I was curling my hair my highlights probably did not look very nice and I understand I get it I feel you um, that's just the way they're growing in but that's why I got highlights at the bottom of my head instead of at the top so you wouldn't see all of that mess up here 24 7 I hide it with my dark hair and it looks really nice so now I'm just picking which direction I want to part my hair and smoothing everything down and running my fingers through everything and just making it do what I want it to do it's really simple it's really easy this is the way I prefer to curl my hair um than like other things like curling like a, for me to use like a curling wand my hair has to be straight already because I have that kind of like odd weird wavy at the top straight at the bottom kind of poofy kind of hair so I prefer it to be straight if I'm gonna use a curling iron but that's why I'm like I can just use a straightener straighten it like once real fast just a quick little thing and then curl it and it comes out like really smooth and really nice and like bouncy um I hope y'all can see but it just comes out like really nice and bouncy so what I do is I have a lot of baby hairs um, on this side so, like I'm not african-american but I want to tell you I have edges I have edges your girl has to lay down her edges she has to straighten them out lay them down sometimes I use mascara sometimes I'll use brow gel or I'll just take gel and I'll smooth them with my fingers your girl even though she's Hispanic and not african-american she has edges so what I do is I just find and I take the little bitty baby pieces that stick it all crazy and do whatever they want and I'll put the straightener on like I would say yeah like the lowest setting and I'll just run the straightener through really really fast once um, and I won't even follow through all the way to the end like once I get halfway down the edge I'm like boom I let it go because I don't want it to look sh straight and look weird but these baby hairs right here they like they just have a mind of their own they do whatever they want to do and it's it's not okay I even have some here like my little side my sideburns it's not okay so I just take them and I straighten like the roots of them really fast and then they fall better I have to do it on both sides because your girl has crazy hair on both sides 
Now, when I say edges, yes, they're not like proper, like, African-American girl edges, but I mean, girl, look at this. Look at that. Like, look at how little that is. I'm like, that's a form of an edge. Okay, come on. Come on, girl. So I just take it, I straighten it out really fast. Especially up here. Like, I have, like, a weird thing right here. Sometimes I fill it in. Sometimes I don't. Um, I haven't been so extra lately to want to fill it in. Ooh, I think I think that's good. So I turned off the straightener and if my hair is kind of oily, let me grab it. Oh. Well, here's a finished what the ends look like. Oh, this is hard. I'm trying to squat. So this is what the ends look like. Um I want to say it hits like the bottom of my boobs are right here <laughs> so when it's straight it goes like all the way down to here and my belly button is like right here so if that's like a good indicator for what it looks like and let me get hold on Whew. let me get my products okay so I got all my stuff <laughs> Okay, I should have done that before. So, when my hair is feeling kind of oily, I use this Not Your Mother's um, Clean Freak Dry Shampoo. It smells really good, but you have to shake it up really well, and it does spray out white and aggressive. So, what I do is I'll, like, find parts that are oily. And I don't know if you can tell, but my hair looks kind of gray now where I sprayed it. So, I just, like, work it in. And the gray goes away and it takes away the oily shine and it does like give your hair kind of volume and texture but it leaves your hands feeling kind of like powdery like with the residue and that's not I don't like that I always wash my hands after I do my hair because my hands feel weird so before I do anything to my hair um, style it anyway it doesn't matter if I'm wearing it natural straight or curly it doesn't matter if I'm wearing it in a ponytail in a bun doesn't matter. I use this. This is the Suave Biotin Infusion Anti-Breakage Serum. It's like an oil, like a heavy thick oil you can see. I just do one pump of it in my palms and my hands. I warm it up for like 10 seconds in my hands and then I put it from my chin down. So on all this hair from my chin down, I don't focus this on the roots. Whatever's left over in my hands, I'll kind of like put it through my roots and focus on like my baby hairs, my like edges that are all like fried and disgusting um, I'll put it through there but I use that like after I wash my hair before I style my hair I use that for everything and then I use a suave hold max hold suave level 8 max hold hairspray um, it says for long lasting hold and it's unscented it's like a normal hairspray and this I will spray down my baby hairs and my flyaways oh I just dropped it and I'll kind of like smooth my hair like that's by my part down because I'll have like a lot of baby hairs and a lot of flyaways and I've been seeing girls using like pomade type of like hair products like pomades you know what I mean pomade pomade however you want to say it when they have like really crazy edges and baby hairs and you know girls are like take like especially like African American girls they'll take like a toothbrush put it in the pomade and then like brush their edges whichever way they want do a little design make it look all cute and fabulous but I've been seeing girls with um like more forgiving hair like they don't have like the kinky curls that um most African American girls have they have more you know this kind of hair more kind of silky hair um, they'll use it if they have like really bad flyaways like if you bleached your hair blonde and like you have so many dead little ends and you're trying to rego you have regrow you have pieces everywhere you wear extensions you're trying to hide things um, I've been seeing normal girls like not normal girls but girls with more normal hair that are it's like easier to style than like kinky curly hair they'll use pomades too for that and this one is actually a guy pomade it smells 
It smells so good. I actually bought this as a gift for somebody, but then they didn't deserve it. I'm just kidding. Um, I never saw that person again, so I just decided to keep it for myself. Um, a very little bit goes a long way. Um, this is American Crew. This is the defining paste. American Crew, like pomades and creams that come in like this jar. They come in a lot of different kinds of like things. Like this is a defining paste. There's ones that are like other, 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 like or other, other, other. You know what I'm talking about? This is the defining paste. I could smell this for hours. It smells so amazing. But what I'll do is I'll just take two fingers, kind of warm up the product a little bit. And wherever I have like my flyaways, if they're being like really stingy and like extra and they don't want to go down, I'll just use this and I'll put it in my hair and I'll smooth everything out. And then, yeah, like you might smell like a guy or whatever, but... It doesn't, the scent isn't strong and it doesn't linger, but I mean, I could smell this forever. It smells so delicious. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how I curl my hair with a straightener. Um, I thought this would be a cute little back to school, you know, picture day hair, like something really voluminous and bouncy and kind of sexy for my high school girls out there that are trying to impress a guy maybe like you're gonna get like a proposal or like a humming homecoming proposal like will you go to homecoming with me will you go to prom with me like your friends full of tea you want to look extra good for that picture whenever he surprises you with like donuts in a box to say prom you can be like oh my god you know what I mean you know what I'm talking about you know what I mean so guys um, I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you learned some new tricks some new chicks I hope you learned some new tricks and tips on how to do your hair, how to style your hair, different products that you can use, especially use boy products. Don't be afraid to use boy products because you're a chick. It doesn't matter if you're a chick or a dude or vice versa. Dudes can wear makeup and chicks can wear dude cologne. It really doesn't matter. It's personal preference, so you do you, boo. So I want everybody to have a great year back in school. This is probably going to be my last back to school video. So guys, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and join the Appreciation Squad. Everything I use will be linked down below. All my social medias will be linked down below in the down bar. Please remember to share this video, to like this video, and to leave a comment down below so I can comment back at you. So guys, it's Vanessa. <laughs> Why do I always mess that up? So guys, remember, it's Vanessa. Bye.